All right. Sorry if I'm a little compromised, but we'll 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 get this done. We will get this done. It didn't work today. A little compromised. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have you nothing to do with that just man? Yeah, I was looking at it, trying to trying to word it to where we would understand it. For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. Oh. But the chief priests and the elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. Let's just go ahead and read it in the New Living. And um, I don't think we're going to have any issues with um, them messing this up for us. So let's just go ahead and go with it in the New Living. you know some of the new living doesn't even have bible verses that the king james has it's a completely different translation so we always have to be a little careful but what bible verses are missing from the westcott and list of new testament verses not included in modern english yeah so So Matthew, like if we would have done New Living, Matthew 17, 21 is missing. Let's check that out. Let's go to Matthew. Let's key in 17. This is in the New Living. Let's see if they got a 17, 21. No. It's 20 through, and then 22. So, let's see how it reads in the King James. <coughs> Oops, that was kind of a mess. Oh. All right. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall. And I told y'all, that doesn't mean that if your faith is strong, you can move real mountains. Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible for you. How be it this kind go out of not out but with prayer and fasting talking about he had removed some demons and they were unable to remove the demons and the people are like well your apostles couldn't remove the demons or your followers or your disciples they couldn't remove them can you do it and while they abode in galilee jesus said unto them the son of man shall be betrayed in the hands of men so let's see because this is what's omitted so let's see It's actually exactly what's missing is this one goes out only by prayer and fasting. And that Bible verse doesn't even mean what it says per se either. Uh, it doesn't mean because Jesus didn't suddenly go to pray and to fast to throw out that demon. So... I forget how it was explained to me and, and it seemed to have made sense at the time, but you know, I'm covering this Bible with you as best as I can. You know what I'm saying? Some other omitted verses. Matthew 20, 16 was admitted. Now, again, we've done this whole thing just about in the King James, if I'm not mistaken. But that's very interesting. And this is probably something I should pull off to the side and call it the 
save it like that and then pull it down into um, yeah all right like it so anyway looks like matthew 27 is unscathed do we have them all here 19 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Love it. Just then, as Pilate was sitting at the judgment seat, his wife sent him this message. Leave that innocent man alone. I suffered through a terrible nightmare about him last night. Meanwhile, the leading priest and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas to be released and for Jesus to be put to death. So the governor asked again, which of these do you want me to release to you? The crowd shouted back, Barabbas. Pilate responded, then what should I do with Jesus? Call the Messiah. They shouted back, crucify him. Why, Pilate demanded. What crime has he committed? The mob roared even louder, crucify him. Pilate saw that he wasn't getting anywhere and that the riot was developing. So he sent for a bowl of water and washed his hands before the crowd saying, I'm innocent of this man's blood. The responsibility is yours. And all the people yelled back, we will take responsibility for this death, we and our children. So Pilate released Barabbas to them. He ordered Jesus flogged with a lead-tipped whip that would rip your skin off your body to where you could see the bones. Then turn him over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Some of the governor's soldiers took Jesus into their headquarters and called out the entire regiment. Okay. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. Okay. We'll get into the rest of that tomorrow. And let's now move over to Revelation. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be as God, and they shall be my son. Again, this is talking about he that overcometh. Who is that? Well, that's sheep. And the fearful, and the unbelieving, and the abominable, and the murderers, and the whoremongers, and the sorcerers, and the idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. We just got through covering this, of course, in Revelation 20. So like I tell people, the book of Revelation is the same story told over and over in various layers, um, usually told a little deeper over here than it's told over, here, over there. You know what I'm saying? And of course, that's their judgment, the lake of fire. But they're not alive. And we really detailed that for you. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, come hither, I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. So we're back to the wrath of God again. All the way, we've already been shown the new heaven, the new Jerusalem. Uh, don't even need the earth anymore, but now we're back to the trumpet and bowl judgments, the plagues and so forth. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great high mountain and showed me that great city. Who is the great city? We've been telling you all along, the great city is that land where Jesus roamed. And it was of Babylon. And it, you know, all throughout, it was the great city of Babylon. And now it's the great city. It's now the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God. Okay, so now it's even a different great city of Jerusalem because it's coming out of heaven from God. It has the glory of God and her light was like unto a stone most precious. It was called her because it was adorned as a bride even like jasper stone, clear as crystal. We had read that the other day about how it came out like a bride. 
it was the bride. And had a wall great and high and had 12 gates and at the, and at the gates 12 angels and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So again, sheep are grafted in to these 12 tribes, whether you're actually of the bloodline or not, which does sort of help you put things in perspective when it talks about the sealing of the 144,000. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. On the west, three gates. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations, and in them, the names of the 12 apostles of Jesus or of the Lamb. And he talked with me, and excuse me, and he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the wall thereof. Love you very much. Ask questions anytime. Don't hesitate. That's what I'm here for.